touches me like ill. Girl, stop. You got a good man. Yeah, he takes care of me, but when he comes home from work, his hands are so hard and he smells. It just, it just makes me sick. Well, have you talked to him about it? No, I don't want to hurt his feelings, but you know what? I'm going to find me a little pretty boy on the side to fill that void. Susan, stop. Don't do that. You're going to lose a good man. Hey, Tia, let me call you back. Talk to you later. Babe, are you okay? I overheard your conversation. Baby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said. No need to be sorry. I have a few questions now. What, baby? Do you have a job? No. Do you pay your bills? No. Do you know why you don't have to pay your bills? It's because I pay for it. My hands look like this, so yours can look like that. I work constructions 12 hours a day, six days a week in the hot sun, just so you can have everything you want. Baby, I'm sorry. I smell like this, because I work hard. So it could be food in your belly and a roof over your head, baby. No matter how hard I work, you never greeted me with a simple dinner, a simple hug. Baby, I'm truly sorry, I love you. We I said I'm sorry, baby. I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish you the best. I'm sorry. Don't go. I'm sorry. <laughs> the moral of the story is appreciate the people that are around you and don't be blinded by the small things. Sometimes, People make sacrifices to help better you. And that may result in them not taking care of themselves because the focus is on you. Don't be ungrateful. The grass is not always greener on the other side.